Welcome to Arts to Envision. My name is Diane McGarrell, and I'm going to show you my latest artwork entitled Prayers. It's a mixed media piece, 11 by 14, on stretch canvas. And this is how it began. I was able to pick up a couple inexpensive canvases at a thrift shop. And by doing so, I had to paint over them. I used white at first to cover it. Then I used different colors. This is me with the finished art piece. As you can tell, I used acrylic paints, jewelry, beads, friendly plastic, sand in this artwork. As you notice, I'm crisscrossing the different paints. Right here I have blue and I have white. I'm just using a regular brush. And I'm just going over and over again, creating texture. Now that's a good way to create texture, is using um, paint, thick paint on top of the canvas. And then we'll add texture. In the right hand side of this picture here, you'll see some of the original artwork that was on the canvas that I picked up at the thrift shop. I liked it, so I did incorporate it into the finished piece. And when you take a look at the final piece, you'll see there are just a couple sections that I did use some of the old artwork. Here's another way, another great way, in order to add texture onto the artwork. You can do that by adding molding paste. I usually use a palette knife to spread the paste onto the canvas. And then after it dries, I paint on top of the paste. Sometimes I will add a little bit of paint onto the molding paste and then let that dry. It depends on the artwork. It depends on the feel I want the artwork to have. If you look at my artwork, you'll notice that a lot of times I will add beads and sand and I'll find ways to add texture to the piece. And that's because I feel as if paintings should be felt. They shouldn't just be looked at. They should have um, a feel about them. When you see a close up at this painting, more toward the end of this video, you'll notice that there's a nail at the bottom of the canvas. That's actually a drywall nail. I never really used them before. Out of the busyness of life, I didn't get a chance to go to the store and get the nails I normally use, just regular nails. So when I was pounding it into the canvas, yep, you guessed it, I had a little bit of trouble. I didn't go all the way in. So I used that in the artwork. I curved it toward the canvas, and I felt this way it could be more of an interactive piece. What you can do is just write out your thoughts, your feelings, and just poke a hole in there into the piece of paper that you write all the stuff on and then you can attach it to the bottom of the art piece. And I don't know if I said this before, but maybe I did or didn't, but originally this artwork was gonna be three canvases. It was gonna be this 11 by 14 prayer, this main piece that you see me creating, and then it was gonna have two flower pieces, which I'll show you in the middle of this when we're done with this part of the video. But then I decided that it didn't really work that well, so I just decided to keep this canvas by itself. When creating, I do have an image of something that I do wish to create. A lot of times I just play around with the colors. I did know that this art piece was going to have an umbrella. And then basically that was about it. Then I just added the pieces as it went along. Notice when I paint the umbrella, I actually curve my paintbrush in the shape of the umbrella. I make it round so it gives the impression of roundness. I use that same technique while creating that flower that you see behind while emerging out of the umbrella. And that's actually to let the viewer know that a new beginning has begun, that nothing quite ends, that there's always hope.
here is a snapshot of the painting in progress. Here is a snapshot of the painting before I added the butterfly and some of the beads. And I must admit, I think I do like that a little bit better. Well, truthfully, I like them both the same. That's kind of the problem though, once you kind of add those beads and all the kind of stuff on there, you can't take it back. You just can't. This is a snapshot of the finished artwork. The art piece, Prayers, will be part of a chapter in a new book called Beyond Brokenness, Healing Through Art. Please check out Amazon as it will be posted soon. You may notice that the figure in this art piece isn't facing towards you, it's facing away from you. And that is because so many times in life we, we wish to be seen, but really think about that, do we? We post pictures or events of our day on social media. Is it the real things that are going on in our life or the things that we wish others to see? Things that we wish others we wish then to think we are. That is why in this artwork the figure isn't facing towards you. It is facing away from you. Letting you know that it wants to be seen. But it only wants to be seen for the image that the person wishes to project to you. The best way to make two canvases match in coloring and technique is to actually paint them both at the same time. So that is what I'm doing here. As you can see I have molding paste on the bottom and I'm just adding paint on top of paint. Creating texture on top of the texture that was already created using the molding and crackle paste. Can you see the flowers? Originally, this art piece were going to be three separate canvases. Two of the canvases were 8x10, which I drew some flowers on. I did create the flowers out of molding paste. I first did the molding paste, then I let the paste dry, then I used some paint over it. Here you can see I'm adding some background color using different colors of blue and purple and black. For this art piece, I cut up some paper. I recently received some stencils, so I cut out the stencils, and here's a heart-shaped stencil that I thought was pretty neat. Got it pretty inexpensively at a local store. Then I used the actual hearts that I stenciled out, and then actually the paper where the stencil came from. I said originally the video was going to be um, three pieces connected together that makes one art piece called Prayers, but I decided to make these pieces separate. So you can hang them like this or like this. It's all up to you. Here's the 
Here's a close up of the two flower pieces. As you can see, it has stencils and beads, and I use molding paste in order to create the flowers. The molding paste was put on the canvas by the palette knife. This artwork entitled Prayers, I have an umbrella and I use some beads and jewelry. Um, as you can tell, there are some images that are used on the previous canvas. They're on the upper left hand side there. Um, here you can see a close up of the artwork. It shows the beads and the molding paste, the stencils. And I love the fact that this painting has texture. To me, it makes you just want to reach out and feel the artwork. I do feel as if artwork should be felt. I shouldn't feel like it just needs to be looked at. It also needs to be felt. What are your feelings about that? What do you feel when you see the butterfly and the beads and the different patterns in this artwork? If you were to write down your thoughts and then hang them using that nail that's on the bottom of this canvas, what would you say? I'm curious. Please write in comments below and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, please contact me, Diane McCarroll at arts to envision and that's two the number two at yahoo.com thank you